Good morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Yes, we are. There's a few dates um, LaShondra and I want to go over with you today. And we're going to start out um, the first one with Martin Luther King Jr. Day. He was born as Michael King Jr., January the 15th, 1929, and was assassinated April the 4th, 1968, of the age of 39. I can't believe he was that, that young. For yes. some reason, I was thinking he was a lot, lot older than that. And some of the quotes he was known for are just as powerful today as they were the first day he spoke them. Mm -hmm. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Lightning makes no sound until it strikes. I like that one. And the reason why I like it is um, everyone can relate to that right now during this uh, pandemic. A lot of people do yes. not feel that the virus is even real unless it hits close to home. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can really relate to that one. Yes. And the speech, I have a dream, we cannot forget the speech during the march in Washington on August 28, 1965. I have a dream, very powerful. Yeah. Do you remember um, when we marched in Washington, D.C. for our, yes. our elders? That was, that was great. That was really great. Could you imagine um, all of the, the quotes and, and um, everything that he would have written mm -hmm. today if he was still living? Because the second date we want to mention is Saturday, uh, January the 23rd, is National Handwriting Day. Wow. Um, handwriting um, is important. Um, it's very rarely um, used as a tool for communication. It's easier to send a text message or mm -hmm. um, an email. Um, to celebrate this day, there's a number of things that um, you could do. Number one... Um, you can jot down a few thank you notes, uh, maybe to a coworker that may have helped you out with um, splitting a mandate. Or you can write a short note to a coworker who is struggling to let them know that you're there for them. Because we have yeah. a lot of ones that are struggling out of work for the pandemic and everything. You know? That's true. Or you can help a resident write a letter to um, a loved one. Or write a letter to yourself, a uh, pick me up note to start 2021 off um, on a good food, foot and a fresh start. I said that wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Just, Just remember this form of communication is cruel in this day and age. A kind word can pull someone out of a desperate situation. As always, love and be kind to one another. We will see you next week yep. on Everyday CNA. So come back and see us. <laughs>